everyone, my name is Vanessa and I'm here to talk to you today about sensory adaptation, habituation, and dishabituation. And we're going to talk about the differences between sensory adaptation and habituation. But first, let's define these terms. Sensory adaptation is a lessening of attention to a stimulus that is not subject to conscious control. Habituation is different because it involves our becoming accustomed to a stimulus so that we gradually pay less and less attention to it. Habituation ends when a change in a familiar stimulus prompts us to start noticing the stimulus again. This process is called dishabituation. So again, adaptation is not accessible to conscious control. An example of this is that you cannot decide how quickly to, adopt a, to adapt to, to a particular smell or a particular change in light intensity. An adaptation is also tied closely to stimulus intensity. An example of this is the more the intensity of a bright light increases, the more strongly your senses will adapt to the light. Adaptation is also unrelated to the number, length, and recency of prior exposures. An example of this is the sense receptors in your skin will respond to changes in temperature in basically the same way no matter how many times you have been exposed to such changes and no matter how recently you have experienced such changes. In contrast, habituation is accessible to conscious control. An example of this is you can decide to become aware of a background conversation to which you had become habituated. Habituation is not tied very closely to stimulus intensity. For example, your level of habituation will not differ much in your response to the sound of a loud fan and to that of a quiet air conditioner. Habituation is tied very closely to the number, length, and recency of prior exposures. For example, you will become more quickly habituated to the sound of a chiming clock when you have been exposed to the sound more often for longer times and on more recent occasions. So, I hope this clears up the difference between sensory adaptation and habituation.